What is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 2020 rebuild. Haven't done one of these in a minute and we are doing the Sacramento Kings. So yeah, the last one I did of these was a Knicks one and that was a little bit ago. I do plan on doing the Anton and Kupo rebuild tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. It's just going to be having all the Anton and Kupos on the team and trying to win a championship because I know... People are still requesting that to do, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. But yeah, today, we're doing a Kings rebuild. I'm very excited to do this because we get to use De'Aaron Fox, we get to use Marvin Bagley, and we're probably going to get to use Buddy Yield, depending on how he does for us. All right, so here's how the rotation is going to look like for season number one. It's a deep rotation. So we have 32 to the backcourt in Fox and Heald. We have 24 to Barnes, who's making a lot of money that I plan on trading in this video. 21 mil per season. Um, and then we have Marvin Bagley getting 30 apiece, 27 to Deadman, and then 16 to Boganovich, 20 to Ariza, 17 to uh, Bielitsa, 14 to Joseph, 10 to Holmes, and 8 to Yogi Ferrell. So yeah, we're rolling out an 11-man rotation. Uh, Harry Giles, is he a free agent at the end of this year? Because if he's not... Okay, he's not. So I'm going to send him to the G League, the Stockton Kings. Luke Walton, I forget he's the coach. Three and a half star pace in space. We'll roll out that for season number one. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what we do. Uh, if we make the playoffs cool, it's nice. I expect the Kings to push for a playoff spot in real life. It's just the West is so good. I don't know if they'll make it in real life, but in this game, I wouldn't mind being bad. Like, adding a James Wiseman to this team would be really nice. So we're 25th on the power rankings. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, and we'll see how we do. Two gay just didn't like the Kings this year, and we go 30 and 52, so not obviously good at all. Oh, I know why I thought they could have did bad, because in my Hawks franchise, which you should check out on my second channel, they had, like, the number one projected pick in the draft after the first season, so I was like, yeah, maybe they aren't that good just in the 2K sim. So I don't win anything in year one, obviously major awards. The only thing I could see is Fox maybe getting on an all NBA third team. No Kings whatsoever. Damn, no Kings at all. We don't even make the playoffs. At least we have our first round pick. So yeah, going into the updated lottery odds, we're going to have the second, third. We're going to have tied for the fourth pick, third and fourth, whatever 2K gives me. So I don't know, I'm hoping I get some luck. So Fox and healed. Oh, Fox. Okay. 14 and six. A little bit disappointing. Not going to lie, but you know, it's an improve. I, I don't know. It's all right. Uh, Bagley, 14 and 8. He'll be really good for us. He's an 81. Healed, I believe, is a restricted free agent. So we'll see how much he gets in the open market. Uh, he had 17, 5, 3 and a half. He shot 43% from 3. I got to bring that back. There's Bogey. Uh, Barnes, who I'm going to look to trade maybe on draft night. Bielitsa, Deadman, Ariza, Joseph, Holmes, Farrell. Just also a really deep rotation that we didn't need. Uh, Giles is going to be up to a... 79 which is nice so it's a lakers celtics finals and it's looking like the lakers are going to win they do they win in five and anthony davis is your finals mvp all right so jeff Lottery, here we go please 2k gods give me luck we're gonna have the projected fourth pick in the draft do not drop me please 2k please okay we shoot up to two thank you i will take that I will definitely take it. So I do think I'll keep Luke Walden for one more year. I do think the Wizards are going to go Wiseman number one. So what I'm going to do... Oh, I forgot they signed Coco Scott as their assistant. Or one of their assistants and Vladi Divac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to trade up for one. Maybe they'll take on Barnes' contract if they can afford it. Because I think they're going to take Wiseman. But I really want Wiseman. So if I offered second... Um, I'll keep that... Uh, or yeah, second... Uh, Number two pick in the draft. I want to keep the second round pick, but I definitely have players I could throw in. Like, if I gave you... Oh, my God. Corey Joseph. You gave them tw him 12 mil per year. What were you thinking for a three-year deal? Damn. Is that actually what they got in real life? That is a vast overpay. I'd rather have Yogi Ferrell on his rookie deal. For number one, would they do that? Wow. Corey Joseph got me the number one. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I'll see you guys. I'm drafting James Wiseman. Wow. This trade is also really tempting. But I'm going to build through the draft on this one. I'm going to go James Wiseman still. I could have also gotten Chris Stop. Okay, so we obviously have James Wiseman. We get Jordan uh, Nora, Nala, Nora in the second round. Uh, I don't know who these guys are, but I guess I'll sign them, sure. Uh, yeah, Luca was um, his... He's a, he has a team option, so I can't, uh, I couldn't have traded for him. So, Fox Badly, we're going to bring back. Bealid said no, because we do have Giles. Why didn't no? Swanigan, no. I remember when Harry Giles was, like, the number one high school recruit. So, we're going to offer Heald and Bogdanovich restricted offers. Now, we might have a cap space. Um, ugh, I want to get rid of Barnes. I want to get rid of Barnes. I kind of want to get rid of Ariza and Deadman, honestly, because we do have Wiseman. I mean, Deadman's not a bad backup center, but maybe for 6 mil, not for 14 mil. John Collins is pretty sweet, but I don't really want him. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, small forward would be nice. I would, like, not mind TJ Warren, but I would have to attach a pick. I can get a first from the Pels. You know what? Pels, I'll do that. Um, 
Yeah, I don't really. Clay Thompson. I'm not going to take Clay. Uh, so I'm going to do this with the Pelicans. We're going to get a 2020 unprotected first in Marco Silva for Harrison Barnes in a second. So we're going to clear up that money with Barnes. Now, do I want to move Deadman? I definitely want to move Ariza. I will, I'll keep Deadman, I think, but I want to move Ariza. Can I just get him for seconds? Uh, Portland, you probably don't have the cap. All right, Phoenix has the cap. I feel bad getting a first for Ariza, so I'm just going to take two seconds from them, even though they just had him like a year ago uh, and then traded him for Ubre. So, you know, we make that happen. So, calmly, we don't need. I mean, Siakam would be amazing. Cousins to bring back would be cool. Uh, I mean, we do need a small forward. Ingram, Levert, they're probably going to match. So, I'm going to give Miritich a one year deal. Um, yeah, I'm going to give him a one year deal. And then healed, I'm going to match whatever he gets. And you know what? I probably should bring back Bogey. Uh, is he a shooting guard right now? What's his position? Oh, he's a shooting guard. Okay, so if I gave him a two-year deal as well, 11 mil per year, that's not terrible. So we bring in Miritich. Uh, we bring back Bogey uh, Bogdanovich. And we are going to not renounce rights on healed. So, yeah, everybody else, even Kyle Guy. Um, you know what? I wouldn't mind bringing back Kyle Guy. He'd be kind of a fun player to play with. Do I have burn rights on Kyle Guy? I don't, so I gotta sign him manually. Kyle Guy wants four mil a year. Never mind. Okay, so Buddy Hill's about to sign a deal from the Jazz. Don't know how they have cap space. Uh, but two years, 38 mil. That's about 19 a uh, year, obviously. So, we are gonna match that. Now, uh, I don't really have a great small forward. Um, I mean, it's gonna be Miritich. Uh, which hurts a little bit. But I wanna see if I can maybe package with Tron Holmes. Uh, maybe Giles, because Giles is going to be a free agent next year, and I don't think he'll sign with us. So Giles, Holmes, and let's say Mark Kinovich. Could I get a starting small forward, maybe, or a backup to Miritich for these three guys? Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get Covington, uh, just because I caught him in last video. So Terrence Ross would be cool. So would Will Barden. I think I'm going to go for Terrence Ross here. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Terrence Ross. So I also get I also get Alfred Camino, who's on a two-year deal. We have to add in the trade exception. So we knock that out. Um, and then if I move Aminu, do I move small forward? His overall goes up. Yeah, 279. So I'll see you guys at training camp. All right, so I should have three training camps, and I do. So I definitely want to go to Fox. I'll probably go Fox, Bagley, Wiseman, because Buddy Hield is 27. So if he disappoints this year... Or I just need a scapegoat because we didn't do well in the playoffs or make it to the playoffs. I'm probably going to use Buddy Heald and look to move him. All right, so I have the rotation figured out. We're getting Fox 34 minutes a game, Heald 33, 30 to Ross, 33 to Bagley, 31 to Wiseman. And then the bench is going to be Bogue, Danovich getting 26, 19 to Alfred Camino, 18 to Miritich, and then 16 to Deadman. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Silva, who's under contract for a couple more years, to the G League real quick. Um, I don't know if we can send another person like James. Uh, we can't, okay. Um, or Norwa, our uh, second round pick. But this is a proficiency. Uh, Luke Wong has pace and space at three and a half stars. We have nothing that's four stars, so we'll roll with that. And our preseason power ranking on NBA.com is going to come in at, wow, 26. All right. Let's not disappoint because then I'm probably going to trade healed. And I'm probably going to fire Luke Walden. So we'll see how we do in season number two. All right. So that's better. We end the season with a 46 and 36 record. So we're probably going to be playing playoff basketball. That is why I traded up for James Wiseman. 17 and a half points. Almost nine rebounds a game. 1.7 assists. One steal. 2.1 blocks. Yeah. He's a beast. And now I don't have to worry about our front court because we have him and we have Bagley. Uh, he's not from G, right? Memphis, okay. Um, and we're not going to get any other awards here. Frank Vogel uh, with Coach of the Year for the Lakers. So we'll see if we get any Kings on an All-NBA team. Obviously, we're going to see Wiseman on an All-Rookie team. Uh, no Kings. Um, and then, yeah, no Kings there. But obviously, we get Wiseman All-Rookie first team. And we are a six seed in the Western Conference taking on the LA Clippers in round one. So we can check out the player stats for this season. Fox, there we go. 18.5 points, 7 assists, almost 3 rebounds. About a steal a game, 50, 40. Free throw was a little bit low at 71%. I thought he was a lot better of a free throw shooter, at least in the game. Uh, maybe in real life. 18 for Buddy Hilt. Okay, good season. Uh, four and a half points, four rebounds. I mean, 19 mil a year. It's not bad. Um, oh, he's a $20 million player option, which he'd probably opt out. But he shot 43% from three, which is good. We saw Wiseman's great season. Bagley, 14 and almost nine. Two blocks a game, 29% from three. Uh, over a steal game too, which is nice. And then there's Bogdanovich, uh, Miritich, Ross, uh, who started. So that's something I'm probably going to upgrade in the offseason is finding out who's going to be the starting three. Maybe I could package two first and Ross, something like that. And then there's Aminu and Deadman being the backup center. And we can maybe use his contract to match others. And then uh, Silva, 
It's going to be up to a 78, which is nice. All right, so we're taking on the Clippers. Obviously, we know who they're pulling out. Uh, George and Kawhi, uh, they have DeLon Wright, Jermichael Green, Montrez Harrell, Zubats, Lou Will, Shamit. All right, and Mo Harkless there. So we're the underdog. I don't expect to beat them, but maybe 2K will give me some luck. And we are down 2-1. to one. Can we go up 3-2? to Or can we tie 2-2 two two is what I meant. And it's 3-2. to two. Can we force a game 7? Okay, game 7. Wow. All right. Can we maybe pull off a pretty shocking first round upset? Uh, okay, we're up by three. No way. Oh my god, no way. No way. We come back three to one. Let's freaking go, Bagley. Holy crap. And we're taking on Denver in round two. So we already got a playoff um, series win. Maybe I won't fire Luke Walden now. So game one of this series, we do lose. We lose by 10. All right, buddy, he'll drop 26 10. Uh,. Shot 3 for 11 from 3, which isn't very good. All right, so down 2-0. Oh, don't go down 3-0, oh, please. 2-1, to one, can we tie it up? Okay, can we go up 3-2? to two? Okay, can we force another Game 7? Oh, my God, we're going to another Game 7. Come on, let's do this. Another Game 7 on the road. Can we pull off another big upset? Uh, we're behind. Down by 13 with 6 minutes left. Yeah, wow. We gave up, like, 20 points in 6 minutes. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we lose 124-135. Fox played really well, so did Heald. Uh, but just, yeah, Jamal Murray, Will Barton, damn, that hurt. So at least we lost to the team that won it all, and Jokic is your finals MVP as they swept the Sixers after beating the Lakers in seven. Wow. All right, so draft lottery, unless we had another team's first, which we did. Oh my god, it was for the Pelican straight in the Harrison Barnes move. Let's freaking go. It's 11. Could it maybe give me some insane luck? No, it stays at 11, but hey, that's another lottery pick. Um, we also have our own pick at 24, so that could be some assets to maybe go out and get a small forward. So I'm going to keep uh, I'm gonna keep Walden. I want to see if I can win a title with him. So we'll move on here to the NBA draft, and I want to see if I could package, let's see, Terrence Ross or, hmm, like who, like if I offered like a manual 11 and 24, could I get a really, I wouldn't say a really good small forward, but something, and then maybe I can keep Ross as like a sixth or a seventh man. Kyle Harry, like I'm getting great offers for point guards, but I, I want a small forward. All right, so I'm going to offer Aminu, Aminu, uh, 11, 24, Dwayne Dedman, and two seconds for Tobias Harris. They won't do that. All right, what about if I throw in a future first, too? Three first round picks, Aminu and Dedman, and a second for Tobias Harris. They don't agree to that. Uh, in order to get to bias. Oh my god, I can give up Bogdanovich in 11. I might do that. <laughs> okay, uh, that's something pretty nice to keep an eye on. Jimmy Baller can't get anything. Yeah, nothing for these guys, obviously. Uh, Kyle Kuzma would be interesting, but he's not under contract. All right, so you know what? I'm actually going to pick up Tobias Harris. We're going to be trading Bogdanovich and pick 11. I wonder if I could just throw in 24, 23, 27 in a menu instead. And then... They want a second and they'll give me a first. Okay, why does 2K do that? But yeah, I'll do that. So we stick at 11, which is sweet. I want to see if I can move 11 now in that Sixers pick to maybe go up to like 8 and I can get a top 10 pick here. Would they do this and I'll give you a future second? Okay, see? Okay. So we have 8 in the strap. I'll see you guys over Kisanic. Okay, so I did take Dwayne Wade's son, Zare Wade, at the 8th overall pick. He'll be our backup point guard next season. Love that. Uh, we'll bring back Silva. Uh, Bagley and everybody else that really won't cost me much. Actually, yeah, we will bring the whole crew back We're not gonna have any cap space even though Paul George is here He would obviously be a really nice small forward to go after but I'm sure the Clippers are gonna bring him back Yeah, player option four years. So they can give him a five-year deal Which unfortunately no one else can and McCollum is gonna go back to Portland All right, so Fox is a restricted free agent I'm sure some team is gonna try to throw a deal on him eventually um, and I'm gonna match it So I'm not gonna bring back Tell to Tova or Miritich and then whatever uh, Fox gets I'm gonna match so hasn't gotten offered anything yet Wow, okay, so I guess no one wants to offer him a deal. So I'm gonna offer him the max anyway All right, so I have three training camps to use. I'm definitely gonna send Wiseman there. Uh, did Hild regress? He went down in overall All right, let me send on top potential to him because that hurts and then Bagley or Fox I guess I'll send it to Bagley. So now he has a plus potential. All right So we're playing our starting rotation a lot. Everyone is getting 34 minutes I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, so yeah, everyone's getting 34 minutes We got 26 to Ross 19 to Wade 15 to Deadman, and then 10 to Silva System proficiency. It's four star pace in space. All right, that's hype and then our preseason power ranking Give me a top 10. Okay, give me not all right 22 they said that about us last year when we were 16 and beat the Clippers and almost beat the Nuggets. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I, I don't know. I think we can get a top three seed with this team. We just added Tobias Harris, which is huge. All right, guys. So I don't know how to feel about this season. I think it's a disappointment in 48 and 34. 
I don't know, I expected to get mid 50s. That's what I was hoping for. We do get James Wiseman on all NBA third team. 19 points, 10 rebounds, two blocks of steal and F. This dude is an absolute stud. Uh, he might be your only guy to make an award. Wow. I could have drafted Maker. I could have, but I chose their weight over him because I don't think I've ever drafted. Oh my god, this dude was a start too. Jeez. I think Marvin Bagley's a free agent too, so we're gonna have to pay that man. Um, no weight here on in our rookie team, but we are the five seed in the Western Conference taking on the Grizzlies in round one. James Wiseman beast. Bagley was higher of a scorer than Fox Harrison Hill. Did not expect that. 18, nine and a half. All right, our front court is, I guess, the focal point of this team. It used to be the back court and Hield and Fox. Now it's the front court. Fox, 17 points a game, eight and a half assists, a steal. He shot 40% from downtown. Tobias, 16 points, seven rebounds, 40% from downtown. Also 88 from the line. And then healed about 15 points, four and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, 42% from three. And then there's Wade, Ross, Deadman, and Silva. Team stats, points per game. Uh, we weren't terrible. We were 10th. And uh, defense, we were pretty good. We were 7th. And point differential, eh, 8th. All right. So round one here against Memphis. It's they have the same record as us. They have John Moran, Jaron Jackson Jr. And they're up 2-0. 2-1. Two Can we force a game four? Or, or five, game five, I mean. All right. I can't speak. Let's just win. All right. We win in six. I was like, can we force a game four? But, I mean, yeah. You were going to force a game four no matter what. Uh, we were already had a playoff series win. All right. I made a playoff uh, round win. But the Jazz help us out. They beat the Lakers in six. So now we're taking on Mitchell. Not Mike Conley. All right. They have Bam Adebayo, Gobert, uh, Kevin Gelly, uh, Kevin Eagle. I always said Kevin Eagle, but it's Kevin Gelly. Jeez. Cassius Stanley, Mitchell, and Cole Anthony. That's pretty good. Can we beat them now? We are the better team on paper and throughout the season. We're up 2-0. Give me... Oh, I would have loved 3-0. Oh, my God. It's 2-2 now. Okay. Can we win in six? Please don't force a game seven. Oh, my God. And winner takes on the Warriors. It could have been seven-seeded Portland. Please win this. Please. I'm closing my eyes. Please win this. I'm going to open them. I'm scared. All right. We won by eight. Let's go. We're going to the conference finals. James Wiseman, you absolute stud. Tobias, thank you. Fox, thank you. All right, taking on the Warriors who won four more games than us. Game one, come on, let's beat him. Let's go. We won by 22. Thank you. 20 rebounds by Bagley. All right, game two, second one in Golden State. And we win both in Golden State. Holy defensive fourth quarter. We allowed them only 10 points. Wow, and Fox drops 30. Bagley with a double-double. He has been so good as at least a rebounder in these playoffs. His points did dip a little bit, but still, I will take it. So game three now. Can we? Oh, my God, we're up three out. Oh, baby, we might go to the finals in year three. I did not expect this. Bagley with 25, Fox with 23. All right, game four, can we go to the finals? Let's go. We just swept the Warriors. We beat them in OT. Fox and Bagley, you, oh my God, they're so good. And we're taking on, please give me, I don't know who I wanted, Atlanta or Philly. And we get the six-seeded Sixers who have a rotation of Simmons, Richardson, Aminu, Bolden, Embiid, Bogdanovich. All right, yeah, they were the other partner, obviously, of the Tobias Harris trade. Game one. We lost. Oh, we lose by 11. Okay. Uh, ben Simmons with the triple double and B with 32 and 10. Come on, Wiseman. There we go. We win game two. Uh, great defense. The fourth quarter. That looked like a big comeback by us. A 16 point swing. Double doubles for Harrison, Bagley, and Fox. Game three. Who can go up two to one? We do. We win by eight. Must go. 13 rebounds for Wiseman. 17 rebounds for Bagley. Game four. We win. We're up three to one. We win 112, 117. Wait. Wasn't that the score in game three or game two? Yeah, we won 107. One, no, 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 just kidding. All right, it was 107, 112, and then it was 112, 117. It's pretty similar. Uh, so game five, can we win this and win the NBA Finals? Uh, no, okay, close. It's close. Uh, oh wow, okay. We're up by five. It's looking like we are gonna win this game, and we do. We win by nine. Bagley with 24 and 12, and then 18, 14, and six for Ben Simmons. But hey, we win it all. Bagley's your finals MVP. Let's go. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys like me hopping in or not. Because some people have said in the Kenny video that it's cheating by hopping in because it really doesn't show that your team won at all. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I didn't know that was a problem, but apparently a lot of people kind of, or some people thought that was. But yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know also in the comments which 2020 rebuild you want to see next. Second channel why I've been uploading a lot of videos in the description. Tomorrow's going to be an to the Koopo rebuild, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vid.